the investing legend known for predicting the 2008 housing market crash, Michael Burry, also known as Big Short, is now warning investors that the greatest crash in the broader asset markets in history is coming. Barry was so successful with his stock picks that American registered investment advisor the Vanguard Group and Insurance and Related Financial Services holding company White Mountains Insurance Group started following his investment choices. In November 2000, Murray started the hedge fund Cyan Capital, which was widely profitable from the get-go by the end of 2004, he was managing $600 million and turning money away to fully serve and focus on his current clientele. Then by 2005 Barry shifted his focus on the subprime market, this is when Barry predicted that the real estate bubble was bound to collapse as early as 2007. Burry is foreseeing the mother of all crashes backed by the biggest decline in corporate earnings. The world is about to wake up to this crisis within the next few months, and Burry will once again make billions in the process. The past 13 years represented the largest bull run in US history. The S&P 500 has increased by over six times in value since 2008. This unprecedented price increase was fueled by growing liabilities. Total public debt has tripled to over $30 trillion since 2009. And while it's impossible to know how much debt is too much, it's certainly not sustainable to keep adding trillions of dollars in debt every year. The growing debt balance is coupled with a massive decline in consumer savings. The US personal savings rate is currently reaching levels that haven't been seen since 2008. Total personal savings have also declined to levels not seen in almost a decade despite inflation. The fact that total savings are declining while trillions of dollars are being added to the economy is extremely concerning. To make matters even worse, credit card debt is reaching all-time highs, signaling that the consumer is getting weaker and weaker every day. Looming. A consumer recession and more earnings trouble. The weakening consumer directly impacts the sales of companies as the economy works with a circular flow. For investors what they could have bought for thousands of dollars a few years back may only cost a hundred dollars by the time the bubble bursts and if the investor needs money right away, this is going to be difficult as stock market prices don't rebound as quickly especially following recessions. For non-investors and everyday people, a recession leads to overall increase of prices for food and other commodities. Unemployment will take a huge hit and even those who manage to still secure their jobs may be affected by wage decreases. This will also affect business the matter what kind as all products and utilities will see an upsurge in price. Many businesses close down during recession as well material and product are more expensive. Burry is giving numerical evidence as to why the lowering consumer sentiment will cause a recession. The reason why is that the low consumer activity will lower corporate earnings, decreasing household income, and leading to even less saving. Burry reiterated his statement by showing the downwards trend of the US personal savings to GDP. Charting Total U.S. Personal Savings GDP. Burry is clearly calling for a consumer-led recession, but he's not the only one saying that. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell once said in 2019 that he was very worried about the growing U.S. debt. The total U.S. debt back then was roughly $22 trillion. That number has now increased to over $30 trillion, which is a 36% increase in three and a half years. All of this is concerning, but you might be wondering what degree of a collapse we are talking about here. Prominent economists worldwide often compare our situation to the 1970s, when the US experienced inflation in the double digits. The 1970s is often seen as a period of stagflation, because the economy simultaneously experienced high unemployment and high inflation. This period of time coincided with a record increase in the misery index, due to low consumer purchasing power. Imagine a period in which you not only become unemployed, but also witness your money become worthless. Another factor, adding to the inevitable market meltdown. This added with global happenings such as the Russia-Ukraine war and continuous lockdowns in China, have increased the value of the US dollars to new record highs against other global currencies. The British pound got absolutely destroyed recently, and because of this, the Bank of England went on a 65 billion pound or 72 billion dollar bond buying spree, as the increasing power of the US dollar was threatening the UK's financial stability. There have also been reports of the People's Bank of China preparing to sell dollars and buy offshore yuan to increase the power of the Chinese currency. The increasing rates devaluation of other global currencies, in contrast to the US dollar as well as authorities and the government taking rapid action in order to calm down markets, are telltale signs of a return to the Great Recession. According to Barry unlike in 2008, where Barry was one of the very few people who saw the financial meltdown happen a mile away, signs are more obvious this time another doomsayer joined Barry in indicating that a market crash is coming. 
namely, Jeremy Grantham claims that the recent rally seen in the stock markets is just a bear market rally, and in his research note titled Entering the Super Bubble's Final Act, he claimed that the mix of overpriced assets and Federal Reserve fight against inflation could lead to a market crash. It is difficult to know what will happen exactly, however, Murray has a history of making precise predictions that often seem prescient in hindsight. The broader markets are experiencing increased volatility, therefore, market participants should focus on firms with strong cash flows and competitive moats if they plan on staying in the markets.